hello chaps let me introduce you to the samsung galaxy z fold 6 and it is very nice and there are some very welcome upgrades here but there's also a lot that hasn't changed and samsung has a pretty big challenge to convince us not only to buy a ford but also not to buy one of its fantastic rivals from google and oneplus and oppo and honor Okay, so let's talk about what, what's new, what's Chang, and the most obvious sort of difference is the design refresh. The Fold 6 is a touch shorter and also a little bit wider. They've squared off the corners giving it a more boxy S24 Ultra look and it actually weighs about the same as the Ultra as well now. At 239 grams, that's 14 grams lighter than last year's Fold 5 and 24 grams lighter than the Fold 4. We also have a new and improved hinge, they call it a dual rail hinge. The aluminium frame is now made rather than glossy and apparently is now 10% more scratch resistant and speaking of durability, the IP4 rating that we got on the Ford 5 has been bumped up to FYB at 48, so much better water resistance and for the first time on a Ford from Samsung a bit of dust. Resistance so you can finally take your Ford 6 to the beach. They've tweaked the speaker grills, the one on the top and the bottom and I'm told they are now louder plus we have slightly improved mics, still Gorilla Glass fixes to front and back. That's still Gorilla Glass and the UTG or ultra thin glass for the main tablet screen is now FTG or FitDG or foldable thin glass which apparently is tougher and also helps reduce the visibility of the crease also I am told because I can't say it looks or feels particularly different and given how subtle. The crease is on some of his rivals but still it's thinner it's lighter we have the wider cover screen slim down bezel tougher glass tougher frame and dust resistance even if it's not a complete overhaul in design it does all add up to make the Ford 6 look and feel a lot nicer to use even more. Then we have the display or displays I should say the trimmed bezels and the extra millimeter in width for the cover screen means it is now a touch bigger the only other change here is the brightness now bumped up to 2600 nits peak. HDR using their adaptive vision booster tech that goes for both screens and that's up from 1750 last year and 1300 the year before with the Fold 4. Otherwise, it's the same lovely 120Hz dynamic AMOLED and obviously a big, if not the big selling point of the Ford is to give you as much screen and as much viewing flexibility as possible. And as ever the tablet screen while terrible for watching TV shows and movies because of the basically. Square aspect ratio and the massive black bars, it's great for browsing the web looking at your photos. And of course, multitasking with up to three apps side by side, a fourth one floating on top. And while the crease is definitely still there and you particularly notice it if you're doodling or drawing with the S Pen going over it, the truth is even if the Fold 6 isn't perfect and of course it's not for everyone. The Fold 6 has the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy which is the same one you'd get in the S24 Ultra and it is quite a significant upgrade, 41% faster MPU for all the EI stuff, 25% graphics, 14 front graphics, 14 processor, although still no if i 7 i it sticks with 6 with 6 e which is a bit odd for a phone this it price since the chip supports it all fold 6s get 12 gigs of ram and the usual 256 512 and 1 tb storage options no change there just scrolling around and using the phone for a couple of hours at my hands on event with samsung it did feel really fast but i think what i'm more excited about with the new chip is not only the camera processing but also it's more efficient because Samsung has stuck with the same size battery as the Fold 5 at 4400 milliamps would have said no to a slightly bigger battery but on the other hand it is quite impressive they have shrunk the form factor of the form kept the same battery but actually are promising a slightly longer battery life because of the more efficient chip and some optimizations. For example, they say that video playback has been bumped from 21 to 23 hours and they've also worked with a bunch of big apps like YouTube and Netflix to make them use less battery sadly though absolutely no change to the charging spill tops out at 25 watts and don't think for the $1,900 price bag that you'll get a charger in the box, no no that's still an optional extra and as is the spend 
and all the cases it's not the end of the world you'll still get 50 percent of your battery after half an hour of charging if you buy their faster 25 watt charger but what about the cameras all five of them in fact you've got the covers clean selfie you've got the tablets clean selfie hidden fairly well under the glass which is meant for video calls and then you've got your three main lenses on the back with the wide the ultra wide and the three times tele photo and of course being a foldable with flex mode and with the cover screen preview you got a lot more flexibility for using these main cameras for more of your shots the problem is barely anything has changed with the cameras if i bring up the specs from last year's fold 5 and then transition to the fold 6 the only hardware change is the ultra wide camera which does have a new sensor and can also now shoot at 60 fps both at full hd in 4k i don't know any way very expensive foldable phone i don't think it's going to convince anyone who's not already convinced by this form factor to jump up but to be fair i have also been telling you what's new versus the fold 5 if you have a fold 3 or a fold fold then it could be worth your upgrade it is a very nice phone it's just a bit frustrating that there's no change to charging speed the cameras are barely improved and while the design is certainly nicer and nicer and a refinement nothing about it is really a game changer but what do you think has samsung done enough would you consider buying one make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below and my flip six hands on video is also coming very soon Thank you so much for watching guys, I'll see you next time right here on the 5M Tech.